Ringer Four Star Playhouse presents Dick Powell, Charles Boyer, David Niven, Ida Lupino. Yes, I you, Mr. Johnson. That's right. Why don't you talk to Grandma out here? She's supposed to get a little fun every day, and she's ready. All right, fine. I'll just be a minute. Thank you. Grandma, this is Mr. Johnson come out from the paper to ask you some questions. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Foster. And I promise you I won't take up much of your time. Oh, you ask all the questions you want, Mr. Johnson. The newspaper's going to give you a birthday present tomorrow, Grandma. A whole section about your life and how it was when you came out west. Isn't that nice? Alice, it's cold. Put my shawl over my knees. It's a warm day. It's cold. Now, you try and help, Mr. Johnson. You're going to be a hundred years old tomorrow, and people want to read about your life. Well, actually, we don't need very much time. We have most of the facts on file. What I'm after today is a little added color for the story. Now, uh, I'd like you to look at a picture in this old book, Mrs. Foster. Here it is. Do you remember this man? Will Foster. Mm, both pictures in lots of books. Why, that's not Grandpa. Oh, no. No, it's Laramie Cole. Cole? Laramie Cole, I've read about him. Why, Grandma wouldn't know him. He was some kind of an outlaw, wasn't he? Yes, a road agent, rustler, horse thief, just about anything you can name. Well, surely Grandma wouldn't have known him, really, Mr. Johnson. I just assumed that she might possibly have heard of him or, or maybe even met him sometime. It would make a very interesting point in the story. Well, you just stick to the facts about Grandma's life and don't ring in any fake stories about outlaws and the like. Now, the facts are that Grandma and her Uncle Lee Prince left Illinois about 70 years ago. It was still pretty wild country then, and settlers in these parts were rare. Isn't that right, Grandma? Look at her, she's not even paying any attention. But she remembers all right. She has a very good memory. A very good memory. <laughs> Wind in the tall grass. I just don't know. Yeah, you better hoop it up while you can. I reckon that this country will tame you down. They say it's wicked on horses and women. Oh, how could this country hurt a person? It's just lying there. God, it's rough country. But I reckon you could stand some taming, all right. And you figure Will Foster's the man to do it, hmm? Now, Will's a good boy. You ought to talk about him like that. Oh, I like Will. He was a good neighbor back in Illinois. But I can't exactly say my heart bled when he left and came out of here last year. And you wrote to him. Oh, I write to lots of friends, Uncle Lee. Besides, I wanted him to write back and tell us what the country was like. Oh, I've been yearning to come out west ever since I was old enough to read about it. Well, according to the man back at Miles City, we should be reaching the roadhouse any time now. Oh, put your bonnet on, girl. You look like the wreck of the Hesperus. Oh, all right. has a good cook, Uncle Lee. I've been craving a meal I didn't have to cook myself. <laughs> so have I. Customers this time of day. Apparently the gentleman didn't, he? 
You must be the newcomers Will Foster bought the Jenkins claim for. You're Mrs. Miss Prince. Emma Prince. I'm Lee Prince. Carrie Dixon. Well, I guess you folks want something to eat. Steak and potatoes, maybe? Sounds good. I better go out and water the horses. Then I might even tackle two steaks. Go right ahead. I'll put the food on. Well, you can sit anywhere. Nice looking woman. This country's hard on horses and women, remember? Especially horses if they don't get watered. Oh, all right, girl. All right. live around here? Yeah, all around here. The only home Laramie's got is that saddle on his horse. Laramie? Laramie Cole. He's a bad one. Killed six men. How would you like your steak? Miss Prince? Oh, I'm sorry. How would you like your steak? Well done, please. Fine. you bought for us, Will. The cabin's in good shape, too. Come on and take a look. Gee, it's good to see you, Emma. You're looking good yourself, Will. How's the trip? Well, tell you, Ralph, it's no trouble. Well. I know it ain't like your place back in Illinois, but for out here, it's a regular palace. Well, seems built solid, Will. Yeah, you ought to see my place. I got the next spread over. Nothing more than a shack on it. Oh, Will, it'll do just fine, really. Come as soon as I get it fixed up a little. I'll go start bringing the stuff in right away, huh? I'll go and unhitch the team. You're uh, sure you're not disappointed? No, well, I, I told you it'll do just fine. Well, I, I guess I better go out and help Lee, huh? Got plenty of time to talk later, I guess. Oh, yes, lots of time. Yeah, lots of time. I'll be over the first thing in the morning to fix that stovepipe, Emma. Oh, don't bother, Will. Uncle Lee can fix it. <laughs> if he's awake by tomorrow. Oh, poor old dear, he's tired. Well, if that trip was as hard on you as it was on him, you must be pretty tired, too. A little. Well, then I won't stick around tonight. But you'll see me the first thing in the morning. Good. You've been a great help, Will. Thanks. Why don't you come by for breakfast, Will? Well, you sure don't have to ask me twice. Thanks again for everything. Thank you for a wonderful supper. Emma, I can't tell you how wonderful it is to have you out here. Well, I like what I've seen so far. Yeah, you like the people, too. There aren't many of them, but they're all nice and neighborly. You get a chance to meet them Saturday night. Oh? Yeah, there's a get-together down at Carrie's Roadhouse. Dancing, big doings. Will you come with me? I'd love to. Swell. Good night, Will. Good night. Who's ever going to leave? Well, Mr. Cole. Miss Prince, just figured I'd stop by for a neighborly call. Wasn't it a little late for that? Oh, it's never too late to be friendly. And I want to apologize for pulling my gun on you down at the roadhouse. Oh, well, I think I understood. You must have thought I was a member of a posse. Oh, I see Carrie's told you all about me, huh? Well, Miss Emma, let me tell you something. If you was a member of a posse, I'd let myself be caught. Perhaps you'd like to meet my uncle. Won't you come inside? 
Oh, thanks. I like the outdoors. Oh, well. You scared, Miss Emma? I am not. <laughs> you got a lot of fire, Miss Emma. A lot of fire. <laughs> now, that's better. I figured you for real gal right away. Kind of belongs out in these parts. Oh? Honest, not putting on airs or acting offended when you aren't. Have you had a chance to look over your property yet? No, we were busy moving in all afternoon. Well, you'll find there's a little clearing in the woods over there, right down over Little Rise. So? So I'll meet you there tomorrow night. You'll do what? About nine, Miss Emma. Well, let me tell you, you're wasting your time, Laramie Cole, because I'm not meeting you anywhere. You'll be there. You're not afraid of me, remember? Indeed, I'm not. Hasta la vista. Yeah, if this weather keeps up, we might be able to ship early this year. If you do, I'll give you a hand with the roundup. Oh, okay. Night, Will. So long, Lee. Ma'am, at least you could have said goodbye to Will. I said goodbye to him. I mean outside. He's been coming here for the past five nights to supper, and you treat him just like a brother. Well, maybe that's the way I feel about him. Oh, girl, you've got no sense. Will's a good boy. You ought to encourage him. Well, what do you want me to do, Uncle Lee? Well, for one thing, instead of walking alone every night, you might ask Will to go with you. Show him some interest. Well, look, I like to walk alone. I like the night air. Well, it wouldn't hurt to let Will go with you. Besides, it's dangerous, a woman out there alone. Oh, I don't go far, and I won't be long. Oh, headstrong, just like your pa. Uncle Lee, now you go to bed. You look tired. No. What made you think I was coming at all? What made you come the past four nights? Well, maybe I was just curious. Maybe. Or maybe I just got bored sitting around that cabin. Maybe. Or maybe I just... Maybe. Laramie. Oh, we're alike, Emma. If you was a man, you'd be just like me. Feels so right, doesn't it? I got something for you. Oh. Oh, it's a fine light. <laughs> I had it taken over in Mile City the other day. I figured you might want it, so you don't forget me. Forget you? The law hereabouts is getting pretty hot-blooded. They keep hitting my trail harder and harder. I've been thinking about going to New Mexico. Oh. I got friends there. You ever think about New Mexico, Emma? Oh, I don't know much about it. Oh, it's a nice country. Well, when are you leaving? Well, I don't rightly know. You want to come along? Do you really want me to? Well, that's for you to decide. A wanted man rides hard. It wouldn't be easy. I wouldn't mind. Well, you give it some careful thought. and Let me know tomorrow night. I don't have to think about it. I already know. Oh, tomorrow night, Saturday. I promised Will Foster I'd go to the dance with him. Well, you go right ahead. But I want you to save the first dance for me after I get there. No, you can't do that. Why not? I'll just have one dance and leave right after. Be a sort of way to say goodbye to folks hereabouts. They say you're loco. I believe them. Do you, Emma? tomorrow night. Meet your partner right, elbow swing. The next girl left for the same old thing. Treat them all like, and treat them all the same. Treat them all like those cheats in the game. Swing them high and swing them low and you keep on swinging that calico. Meet your partner and swing her around. Make that big foot jar the ground. Swing your partner around once more than promenade tear off the floor. <laughs> Learned about dancing much in 20 years. <laughs> How about some punch? Hey, it sounds great. Yeah, come on. Emma. Emma. 
Oh, I'm sorry, Will. Having fun? Lots of fun. Me too. Could we walk outside for a minute? I want to talk to you. Well, isn't it about time for another dance to start? Yes, but this is important. All right. But do you mind if I freshen up a little first? Oh. Carrie, hmm? is there somewhere where I could fix my hair? Oh, sure. I'll show you where. Won't be long, Will. That uncle of yours sure has a lot of steam. Oh, he's having a wonderful time. Well, the older they get, the more fun they seem to have at dances. You folks pretty well settled? Yes, fine. Oh, I think I've lost a pin. Oh, there's some over there on the dresser. Thanks. Something wrong? Oh, don't be surprised. I know you've heard of Laramie and how bad he is, but he can be a lot of fun, too. He's quite a man. Don't think I'm bragging just because I've got his picture. Laramie's got girls all over this territory. So it seems. Well, it's none of my affair. I'm just surprised to see his picture, that's all. You can see the same picture on any reward poster. Well, look, Carrie, can't we talk about something nicer than an outlaw? But don't be so upset. I'm sorry. Let's go back, shall we? Emma, you look as pretty as a picture. Should we go outside now? Well, I'm sorry. I don't feel so well. Would you take me home, please? Well, sure. If you don't feel well, I... Don't stop dancing, folks. Let's have some music. Dance, Miss Emma? Keep your hands to yourself. No, thank you, Mr. Cope. I'm only dancing with my intended, Mr. Foster. Intended? Yes, we're going to be married next week. Will, would you mind taking me home now, please? Promenade, yeah, sure. single file, swing that girl behind you. Reverse, swing clear round the track. Keep on swinging and you don't come back. I'll dance with you, Laramie. You will, huh? All right, Carrie, let's move it up. Emma, you asleep yet? No, Uncle Lee. Come on out, I want to talk to you. What are you doing? Where are you going? Never mind. I want you to tell me the truth. Anything between you and Laramie Cole? Nothing. And why'd he ask you to dance? Why'd you say you'd marry Will Foster so sudden? I may be old, but I ain't stupid. I told you there's nothing between us. Well, good thing for you then. I'll be gone for a little while. Where are you going? Joining a posse to track down Laramie Cole. He killed another man tonight. What? Yep. After you and Will left the dance, he stayed there. One of the boys sent for the sheriff. Laramie decided to shoot it out with him. Almost every man in these parts joined the posse. I'll go and get Will. You be all right here alone? Of course. I hope you meant what you said tonight about marrying Will Foster. Maybe now you're commencing to get some sense. looking for you. I know. They followed me north and I circled back. Well, you shouldn't have. Because I'm not going with you. Why don't you ask Carrie? I would, if I wanted Carrie. What went wrong at the dance last night? You think you can have just what you want, don't you? Well, I've been doing some clear thinking. How many photographs did you have taken, Laramie? Enough for every woman in the territory? Oh, so that's it. You saw the picture that Carrie has. I said you have fire, Emma, and you have. I got fire enough to tell you to get out of here. Now get out! Now, wait a minute. You listen to me. I know what's worrying you. 
But you come to New Mexico with me, and I swear, Emma, I'll never look at another gal. It's a solemn promise. You've always been honest with me, Emma, and with yourself. That's what you want, isn't it, that promise? Isn't it? I've got to sneak into Mild City and see a friend who's been keeping some cash for me. I'll come back for you tonight. I'll whistle from the edge of the woods. Tonight, Emma. you were up north with the posse. The posse ain't up north. We found out that Laramie doubled back. We picked up his trail a couple hours ago outside of Miles City. So I took a shortcut back here. Here? Why? He was headed this way. Emma, have you seen him? Of course not. Where's the posse now? Wherever the tracks will lead him. He can't be very far ahead of him now. Well, uh, you must be hungry, hmm? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I am. Well, I'll get some water from the well and fix you some coffee. I'll get that water. No, let me go! Emma! Emma! Will, let me go! those early days very well, Mrs. Foster? Oh, so well. Yes, we ran away. Always one step ahead of the posse. Rolled by night, slept by day. And he was true. Never looked at another woman. Now, Grandma. Sometimes her mind wanders and she makes up stories. New Mexico. That's where we went. I'd better get her back inside. Give the man back his book, Grandma. Well, Laramie. Now, Grandma, Mr. Johnson isn't going to mention Laramie Cole. He's only going to print the truth. I'm sorry I brought his picture, but I, I thought it would add some color if she'd known him. Well, just stick to the facts about Grandma. That's right, Laramie. He isn't going to mention him, Grandma. Come on now. Thank you, Mrs. Foster. <laughs> <laughs> 